you. So count yourself full of barakas if in this glory. hour, this moment, this second, you are seeking his glorious, Amen. his glorious kingdom. Baraka is the man whom thou choosest and cause it to approach unto thee that he may dwell in thy courts. He shall be satisfied with the goodness of Glory. thy house, even of the holy temple. Glory. So no, the question is not, is there a goodness of the most high? Shalom. The question is not, is he still here? Glory. The question is not, does he hear your prayers? Does he hear our prayers? He can request your prayers. Glory. He requires your prayers. Amen. Yes. He requires your humility. Yes. He requires your humbleness, yes. Yes. your meekness, your patience, Glory. your temperance. Because he says, Baraka is the man whom I have chosen, who the most high, who Glory. has brought the sun, who has brought the moon, who has brought the waters, who has brought the air, who has brought the earth, and who has given you salvation and mercy. Glory. Thank you. Psalm 65, verse 4. Baraka is the man whom thou choosest and callest to approach unto thee, that he may dwell in thy courts. We shall be satisfied with the goodness of thy house, even of thy temple. And to end our lesson, Jeremiah chapter 30. If you question in this hour, where are you in the scripture? If you don't know where to pick up the scripture, if you don't know because there's so much history, there's so much lies, there's so much deception, so much. I bring you to Jeremiah chapter 30. When the Most High has prophesied of the seed of Jacob, as my brother Norm the General has spoken unto me about understanding the seed, the seed. of the Most High. He has yes. one. He has one. And it reads, because we are in Jacob's trouble. Jeremiah 31. The word came unto Jeremiah of the Most High, saying, Thus speak the Most High of Yasharala, saying, Write these all the words that I have spoken unto thee in a book, a sephir. For lo, the days come, said the Most High, that I will bring again the captivity of my people of Yasharala and Yahuda, Judah, says the Most High, and I will cause them to return to the land that I gave their fathers, and they shall possess yes. it. When you speak of the goodness of the Most High, yes. you have no concept of his heavenly glory, of how he can take you from being crooked and make you straight. Glory. He can take you from your oppression oh, yes. and bring you to your glory. We're going to drop down to verse 13 of chapter 30. No, better yet, we're going to start at 12. And it says, for thus says the Most High, thy bruise is incurable and thy wound is grievous. The Most High is speaking of his children of Yashirala, of being spread across the four corners, of being within these idolatrous nations that yes. we have become yes. our oppressors best kept secret yes. that we are yes. Stockholm syndrome we have fallen in love with our kidnappers the most high says you have a brood that's incurable you have to come out of her, I give all praise unto the Glory Most High. The he most says, high. come out of her. Her is this world. Her is Babylon. Glory. Her is your government. The Most High says, because that bruise is incurable and it is grievous. Yes. Verse 13, there is none to plead thy cause, none. that thou mayest be bound up, that thou hast no healing no medicines. Healing. When you run to these pharmaceuticals, by etymology is witchcraft. My, the Most my, High my. says, there will be no healing medicines. No. 
Verse 14, it says, All thy lovers have forgotten thee. They seek thee not, for I have wounded thee. For the Most High says, I have wounded Glory. thee with the wound of an enemy, with the chastisement of a cruel one. You ask why your children are being killed. You ask why your wife won't love you. You ask why your husband can't keep his self in his home. You ask why your children want to be homosexual. Because the Most High says, I have struck in you. I have given you a yes. wound of iniquity that you cannot Pull yourself out of only through him. Only through the recognition. Preach, brother Kyle. Can you come from your own iniquity? And it says, All thy lovers have forgotten thee. They seek thee not. For I have wounded thee with a wound of an enemy. With the chastisement of a cruel one. For the multitude of thine iniquities. The father says, I did it because of what you've done. I have no my, evil. My, my. I have no evil. This is what you have done. My. You have chosen to walk with the harlots. You have chosen to be with the Jezebels. You have chosen to choose another as your salvation. I have never changed. I Glory. am holy. I am Glory. perfect. He says, for the multitude of thine, your iniquities, because thy sins were increased. They did not decrease. You did not seek him. You don't want to pray seasonally. You don't want his law. They have told you that his law is done away with. That all you need is a testimony. Well, the testimony is you. The testimony is you. It's your testimony of leaving your iniquity and coming into the Father. That is the testimony that will get you into those 12 gates. Forgive us, Father. Dang one pearly gate. There's 12 with each tribe written above that gate. Yes. Don't let the lies yes. lead you to your hell and damnation. Yes. Most High says in verse 15, why wow. criest thou wow. for thine affliction? Why do you cry to him when your sons are killed? Mm. Thou sorrow is incurable for the multitude of thine iniquity again back at you because thy sins were increased again back at you. Glory. I have done these things unto you. Verse 16, there, for all that devour thee shall be devoured. Because see, my father, my creator, my Allah yes. says that no matter what my iniquity is, he will never forget who I am. He will Glory never forget his son. He will never forget his daughter of Zion. He will never forsake his daughter of Zion. Glory for He says up. here, Abba. why would you cry? Just repent. The father says, don't Glory. cry, repent, Abba. leave her. No need to cry. He says, why? Because I have done these things yes. unto thee. Verse 16, therefore all that oh. devour thee shall be devoured. All that have taken you into captivity will go into captivity. All that have spoiled you, all that have consumed you will be consumed. Oh. Oh. And all thine adversaries, Hashitan, the devil, every one of them shall go into captivity Every one of them yes. shall go into captivity, and they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. And uh, all I that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. You ask of the goodness of the Most High, but yet you are afraid to approach his word. You are afraid to read his word. You are afraid to put yourself as the seed of Jacob and know that all that is being done is for you. Abba. Now what are you going to do? Verse 17 because the most high says for I will restore health unto thee and I will heal thee of thy wounds say it the most high because they call thee an outcast Glory. who's an outcast who's a nigga saying this is Zion whom no man seeketh after Chris Rock told you no white man would switch a place with any black man even if he was rich as Chris Rock yes. Restoration of Jacob, verse 18. Thus said the Most High, Behold, I will bring again the captivity of Jacob's tents and have mercy on his dwelling places. This is where we are right now. We are here right now. We are present day. And the city shall be built upon our own heap. So the Most High says, As you recognize you're in captivity because your children are slain, because your people are in jail, because you are in poverty. Yes. yes. Most High says, But I will give what? Mercy on your dwelling places. And when I tear all of this down, as I just said, that I will make all of your enemies go as prey, then you, 
and the city shall be builded upon her own heap, mm, wow. and the palace shall remain yes. after the manner thereof. That means that the, there's no bombs on here. Yes. They go in captivity. We rebuild on the heap of what was left. And then what do we do with that? Because I'll say, okay, if a black man, if a black woman, if the black community got this, they wouldn't know what to do. If they buy Escalade, they do this. Well, not the community that goes into the most high. Not the ones that are daring themselves to approach the father. Amen. Not the ones that he have chosen. They're going to know what to do when it's time. They're going to know what's good to do when the government falls. There won't be no fear. There won't be no scattering. Because 19, they will have read. And out of them shall proceed thanksgiving and the voice yes. of them that make merry. Glory. See, why you scared of what's happening to your oppressor, his seed is rejoicing, calling upon his name and giving him uh -huh. all the praise and the honor and the glory. glory. Father. He said that because what his children are going to do, because his children are going to know that there's nothing going to happen to them as long as they follow his commands. Yes. And it says... And out of them shall proceed thanksgiving, and the voice of them shall make merry. Yes. And I will multiply them, and they shall not be few. I will also glorify yes, them, glory. and they shall not be small. Their children also shall be as a time. What? As a time, As in the ancient days. As when the two children were following the Most High. And it says they will be as a time, And their congregation shall be established before whom? Will be established before whom? The Most High. Glory, Father. And I will punish all that oppress them. That's the testimony I'm going to have. Verse 21. And their nobles. Because... There's always a government. There's always a structure. Most High says, I'm giving you play by play the blueprint. Mm -hmm. He says, and their nobles shall be of themselves and their governor shall proceed from the midst of them, the midst of the body, the people of the Most High, yes. of the Hamashiach. Mm -hmm. That's who will be leading. No election, no politics, no politics. And I will cause him to what? To draw near. Will you approach the most high? My, my, my. Who are you? Mm -hmm. It says, I will cause him to draw near. And he and he shall approach unto me. Mm -hmm. For who is this that engaged his heart to approach unto me, says the most high? What are we talking about? Are you that one that's ready to approach unto the most high? You ask about his goodness. He has laid it out. He yes. asks you now. It's on you. Yes, glory. Are you capable to approach me? The goodness glory. is not in question. The only question is you. All Shalom. praise to the most high. Shalom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are awesome. Thank you. You are brother. awesome. Thank you, brother. You are really awesome. That is so powerful, man. Mm, yeah. That is so powerful. Mm. That was all him just now. Oh goodness. That was all him just now. Woo! All praise out. That's <laughs> that's sick glory. That is I, I love that message. That's a beautiful message. You gotta send me that. Because I want to listen to that with my preachers and this right here that you have. Because see this here? It's, 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 it's what you preaching on. It's, it's, I don't even know where to start. You was recording me, right? No. I recorded some of it. Oh, I, man, I only got a part of it, too. I didn't get the whole thing because it didn't record, dog. What? Oh, man. Come on, what you got, man? I hope you got a lot because oh, I ain't man. got but 13 minutes. You got the beginning, huh? 